we'll see some more example in unit 2 uh, the minimum number of production required to produce a language that consists of palindrome of a string and there is no constraint given so palindrome actually consists of a string and its reverse should be same and the input is made up of a b combination so whatever you write the string and its reverse should be same then only we can call that as a palindrome string okay so we can write a prediction of the structure starting variable if the initial element is a end should be a we can uh, recursively call this or if the initial element is b then end also should be i'm sorry it is initial is a then end should be a and similarly initial is b then end also should be b then only we can call it as a palindrome string okay and it recursively call if my input starts with a last will be a i have b here i have b here i have a i have a i goes on so what will be the middle element so middle element might be it is to the power of a uh, alpha it is not given so we can have either epsilon or middle element might be either a or b okay so this is the minimum production that can be uh, applicable for constructing a language with palindrome string so we can recursively call any element so in between it might be if uh, if it is a even length that will not be any middle element for this a this a for this b this b and for this a this a you don't have any middle element in that case we can use epsilon or you may have the prediction like this a b a so this is also a palindrome string the reverse of it is also same so when it is an odd length palindrome the middle element might be either a or b so the minimum number of predictions required was 1 2 3 4 and 5 so option is d this is the correct option okay the next one is the language generated by the context free language okay a grammar is given a context free grammar is given and we are going to check which language is, is generated by this context free grammar okay so here you have to take uh, you have three variables x v and a so three variables are there and we are going to consider x as the starting symbol so from x we are going to start the transition and uh, what is there like we have to check whether it is odd number of a's and b's even number of a's and b's different number of a's and b's equal number of a's and b's uh, it is better to take the option and check whether it belongs to the language or not okay it is really hard to analyze the language uh, just by give, uh, giving the grammar itself so it's better we can compare this with the existing option okay so first we check x it has two prediction a a or b a so we'll take the first one and for this a we can have a substitution as b or bx or a a leave it we can take the simple one we can substitute this as b so the minimum input generated by this is ab okay so ab is one minimum input that can be generated by x so here you have odd number of a and odd number of b so even number of a's and b's uh, it is not an option so we can cancel this even number of a's and b's option okay since uh, it generate odd a or b so this is also possible and different number of a's and b's no. so the a number of a and number of b are same so it doesn't produce different number of a's and b's so we can cancel this option too and the left out option are equal number of a's and b's odd number of a's and b's so both the conditions are satisfied with this example that we have taken so we'll take some other example so we can uh, take this x as a a and for this a we can go for the substitution so when you substitute b x here and again you have x for this x i can have a substitution as a a so i have uh, we can check whether it generates a uh, odd number of a's and b's see here we have a a two a's are available for this a we can substitute b okay so here the input generated is a b a b so a b a b can be generated by the given grammar and here you have even number of a's even number of b's okay so it also generates even number of a's and b's so it we cannot say that it only generate odd number of a's and b's so all these options are cancelled out the only left out option is equal number of a's and b's and the inputs that we have taken actually consist of equal number of a's and b's if you want we can check for other option too 
but uh, we already have cancelled all the options so we can choose this as the left out option and that is actually substituted actually satisfied by the examples that we have taken off